Oh gosh. Oh no. Oh sorry, Timmy. This is the river somewhere in Polish. Złowić. I don't know what it means, but I know we've got to take it. And it has one of the biggest drawbridges I've seen in a Ravenfield game. This might be a bridge too far, but we're going to find out. We need to take this bridge. And we need to take this bridge too. All the while, it's going to be aerial dogfighting, battling in the sea, and bum-rushing strategic objectives with infantry and armor, even though they're relatively well fortified. Now, luckily... I can attack via these aircraft, which I'm going to because this fighter plane looks freaking awesome. Thank you, sir. I'll take that. And if you look over there, we've even got these gunboats that we can use. So to get a better idea of what exactly we're up against for this big bridge battle, we're going to get the aerial view. So looking at the intel right on this side of the bridge is probably the objective that we want to take first. And if we can do that, we can either manually drop the bridge or we could take the flag point on the other side to drop it down and then drive armor straight across. For the other side of the river, we're gonna attack this strong point. Oh, and it looks like there's a rail yard and even a train over here. This map is gorgeous. Oh, and this place is even more heavily defended than that fortress over there. Both sides of the bridge are going to be relatively difficult to take out. But I think we can do it. Now, when you see a bridge and you're in a plane, there's only one thing to do, and that is to drive right under it. Can I put my landing gear up? No, it looks like it's fixed and we can't, but this plane looks pretty sweet for a biplane. Now, the thing that I want to do is soften up this fortress. So I want to line up the troops that are defending against it. And hopefully, I just took out, what, four or five enemy troops? We should be able to take that, especially with the amount of men that we have. But we need to move in. Everybody seems to be hanging back sort of statically and waiting. Looks like the tanks are moving in, the infantry's closing in. This should be, oh, and the flag is actually dropping it. You can see right under my left wingtip. This is a glorious day for Eagle Company, although I'm sure this is the Svetland War made by Sopa, so it's, it's you know. Wait a minute, I just realized that that was not the objective that I sent those troops on at all. It was to take this side of the river. And look at this little town is crawling with enemy troops. Oh my gosh, I love these machine guns. They fire relatively fast for like an interwar era biplane. And interwar meaning like it was between World War One and World War Two. Look at all these troops just like hanging out. <laughs> All right, maybe we could get air superiority and I could take out some of the enemy aircraft. Now, we're biplanes, not monoplanes. So this should be an enemy. And I just downed him and I think that might be the next one. Yeah, gosh, these machine guns fire so fast. Now, in real life, they're probably firing like rifle caliber rounds because of how fast they are. I don't think they're like 50 cals or anything like that. Oh, look at this guy trying to maneuver. That's cute. And you should be dead about now. Oh, wow. that. That little duel, I thought, brought me out of the area of operations, but it doesn't appear to be so. Our bomber is strategically bombing the other side of the river on the train track bridge. Now, against my better judgment, I'm going to do something. Now, when you look at this drawbridge, you'll notice there's a white tower with a blue roof on the right side. I think, mind you, that it might be where the controls are. Oh, gosh, there's guards. Go, 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 go. I wasn't expecting that to work, but I also wasn't expecting it not to work. So we're in the guard tower, or I guess it would be more of like the control room. Oh, we got the bell. And it's it, the, the bridge is drawing. That's why they call it a draw bridge. Now we haven't taken that part yet. Ooh, I'm getting shot at. I don't know what I'm supposed to do with these binoculars. Hello there. Hello, enemy troops. How are you? They got their knives out. They're like, we're going to come and shank you. Okay. That's not scary at all. The bridge is down, so we could use it and send armor over here. Oh, man. I can barely see them because they're, they've got really good urban camouflage. So I think now it's time to take the boat out for a spin. Oh, my gosh. This looks like a, a Soviet-era river monitor with Katusha rocket launchers. How do I get in this thing? Guys, I need this boat. We need a dock here because this boat seems intent on leaving very slowly without me. 
Uh, well, <laughs> I got this thing. It's got one of those like little mud propellers you see in the swamps. Let's see if this can get me on the boat. Hello there. If not, I'm gonna have to take this into action. Oh, yeah. Look at me, I'm the captain now. <laughs> and that guy just got knocked off the boat. Sorry you're wet, but you know what? This is the way it goes. Oh, okay, so we've got a machine gunner up top, and then as the driver of the boat, I have access to a 57 millimeter high explosive shell. I guess I can switch to armor piercing rounds, which would be good for tanks, and then we've got this thing. Yeah, artillery rockets. I have no idea where those are going. I mean, they're in the general vicinity of the enemy troops, so if I hit anybody, I'm going to claim it as, like, exactly what I was planning. Come on. Oh, no hit notifications. So I'm thinking we want to use the high explosive rounds. Now, checking the map, the enemy still controls this side of the river. Hold on, there's some guys on the bridge. I, I got a hit notification because the splash damage hit somebody. All right. Yeah, look at all the enemy troops. Well. Oh, no. I hit my machine gunner. Yeah, I guess that was pretty dumb of me, wasn't it? Yeah, we hit some people. Okay, so this ship is amazing, but it's a little bit difficult to use if you're not, you know, trained in the way of the Navy. Wait, is that, are those friendly troops? Yes, they are. They're attacking via the water. Guys, we can do this. Kind of wish I had a, a, a little bit better of a gun than going Rambo with this belt fed. And the enemy has definitely got it pretty buttoned up. Okay, we've attacked from the air, we've attacked from the water. Let's use this. This is what you call a tank, and it's got a lot of boom boom sticks on it. All aboard the Boom Boom Stick Express. Buddy, you do not sit in front of a tank. That's like the worst thing you can do other than parking yourself right in front of bullets. What did I just run over? Hopefully not a person. That would be sad. Hello. Oh my gosh. Whoa, 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 yeah. Okay, the armored car's like, buddy, I realize you're doing the heavy lifting for us, but get out of my way. Oh gosh, oh no. Oh, sorry, Timmy. We are taking this point. Whoa, 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 what was that? Somebody hit me with the AT grenade, I think? Give me cover and fire. Oh my gosh, what is, there's some heavy artillery being called in on this position. Oh no, the enemy's getting tanks over. Yeah, my guys don't know how to use amphibious craft, but that's okay. So this is my little tank. We've attacked with planes from the air, boats from the water, and tanks from the ground, but what if we attacked with tanks? You see that little propeller on the back? With tanks from the water. <laughs> this strategy surely cannot fail. Uh-oh. Okay, that was weird. The terrain wasn't necessarily even, and this is the slowest moving thing on the water, but it is moving, and it does have a boom boom stick barrel. And I can attack while I'm on the move. I need the Katusha rockets in a better aiming device, and this thing would be overpowered. Now, we've taken this side of the water, and the enemy does have tanks on it. Now, I don't... This would be... Oh! Oh, hello! The boat's attacking? I've seen it all. Look at that. They're significantly more accurate than I am. Oh my gosh, this is glorious. Oh, he's just shelling that bridge. I'm not sure if he, uh oh. Hello. <laughs> okay, he's gonna go right by me. That's fantastic. In a way, I guess he's screening my attack. I need to put like two propellers on this thing so it's not like insanely slow. Oh, smash that bridge. No, that wasn't a very good shot. Oh, snap. I just lost 59% of my health, and I have no idea why, and I have no ability to repair this thing. I've got a smoke shell. Let's try to... Oh, there, there we go. Stop it. You can't see me. We're just gonna cloak our advance with smoke shells. <laughs> this is ridiculous. I, I spent so much time on this thing to get killed before I even made it to the beach. Look at this. We finally made it. Whoa, 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 whoa. Who are these guys? They are not my friends. I don't think so. They're not on the mini-map. No, 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 no. Oh my gosh, they are. They are my friends. And I almost killed all of you. <laughs> I'm so sorry. Here, let me do my job. Oh, I'm out of smoke shells. We had a limited number of those. Man, but the smoke lasts a while. 
So now I have an infantry screen, so that was... I'd like to say I should get credit for that, but that just happened randomly, and I am so glad the AI had the tactics to do so. That's a rare thing in Ravenfield. Mind you, Ravenfield is one of the best games ever. Oh my gosh, look at this pincer movement. Infantry are pouring across the bridge. Oh gosh. And there's the enemy. Oh man, we really messed them up there. Take the Pivnosti Bridge. Oh, biscuits and gravy, they took my tank out. All right, where's this capture point, boys? Because we need to take it. I guess it's in the town right over here. All right, ADS. Oh, they're just, hey, we got a tank. Oh, snap, they're, oh wow, they're really coming at us now. It was like firing a BB gun. All right, we definitely need to switch weapons. Something better put down power, but quick reload. I'm thinking this. And now that we got this side of the bridge, it looks like attack boats keep spawning in, which should, no, 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 no. Man, this is amazing though. Like, look at this. We got three attack boats. I don't know where we're going, but you know what? I'm on board, gentlemen. Let's do this. And here's the beach. No AI is coming this way. <laughs> I thought we were going to have this dramatic boat ramp scene, but uh, we just kind of got stuck in the mud right there. Frag grenades! Who wants the frag grenades? Frag grenades! Get your frag grenades. Oh, what? Man, this is a lot tougher than I thought it would be. Wait a minute, who's shooting me from over there? Who? What? Where? There's a machine! <laughs> now this thing is considered a light bomber. It's got a 250 kilo bomb. All right, let's see just how big those are. Okay, 250. Now we're gonna rearm, and we're gonna drop our ordnance and try to do some significant damage so that, well, hopefully the rest of the troops can pour in and take the objective. Hopefully there's no friendly fire. I was only able to drop two bombs at the time. And I'm not getting any kill notifications. I don't know if our bombs hit a house or what, but we're gonna try to make another pass. All right, there we go, bombs away. I don't think that did much of anything, unfortunately. Cause we need to take, I guess we do still need to take this one. I'm gonna drop a bomb, although there's a lot of blue guys in the area, so we gotta be careful. And then I'll just parachute down and hope to get lucky. Hope being the strategy we're gonna employ. Oh, our bomb just went off though. That was a good shot. And uh, look at all the tanks just attacking the rail yard. Seeing it from this point of view is amazing. I need this thing. All aboard boys. Get in idiots, we're going to take Berlin or whatever the equivalent is. So we're gonna go down this road. We've got a beautiful hedgerow just to like keep the enemy from, well, taking pot shots at us at least for a while. <laughs> hey guys. I guess you're going the same way as us, so go ahead and screen us. We got a little extra machine gunner and driver. Oh, look at that bomber just laying down the pain train on the train of pain. You see, it, anyway. Oh, the enemy is like all over the trenches here. I, is that tank disabled? Yeah, it's definitely disabled. You can tell by the fact that there's fire coming out of where the engine's supposed to be. Come on, boys. We've got to take this bridge. We're charging in dramatically. Huzzah! And running them over if we have to. I may not have a machine gun, but I don't know if I'm gonna need it. Yes, look at that. We're about to take it. We just tackled the smack a lack -a bridge. Yes. All right, there's enemies on the bridge. Oh my gosh, that bomb was perfectly placed. Oh gosh, you hear the bombs? Or those Katushas? Oh, look at that. Boom, 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 boom. I tell you what. Every now and then, these battles get so cinematic. Oh, everybody out. We got hit with an AT rifle. All right, so taking a look at the map, we've got this side of the bridge. We're gonna need to update the plan of attack. Uh, we could use another vehicle. Look at this thing. Wait a minute. I'm driving it, but enemies are on top of it. <laughs> Unless, of course, that was just like, what is seeing everybody get hit by artillery? I'm like, I should probably leave. The enemy has some kind of artillery mechanic in play, and jeez! 
They just wiped us out. Okay, I'm gonna take this tank over to the other side. Oh wait, this is the amphibious tank. Wait a minute, is it? it? Uh oh. All right, we need to switch to AP rounds. What? Oh gosh. Got a hit there. Oh gosh, he hit me. I didn't know that we had died until I died. Cause that's how you died. The battle is getting ridiculous. This is called the trench device. It's really good at clearing trenches. Oh, look at our boat. Do you like land, sea, and air all happening at the same time? Battlefield could never dream of battles this awesome. They used to, and they used to be able to pull it off. Oh gosh, that's a lot of enemy troops. Oh, thank goodness for this tank. Tanks, plural. I don't know how close I'm gonna be able to get. The enemy side is very, very heavily defended. Oh, see, it, there's a map in Battlefield where you could get like on top of the bridge, right? That's the next thing we need to be able to do is, is like better terrain traversal. All right, we'll hit the reload. Oh yeah, there's definitely some machine gun fire. Oh gosh, one of our tanks is down. I, I'm gonna get on this side of the bridge because that's where the tanks are and maybe any surviving infantry units. Oh gosh, look at this. Look at this, what are they, what's that over there? Is that the anti-tank truck? Do you think I just shoot that guy? Should've brought a sniper. But instead I brought a flamethrower. I think I shot the gunner off. What's the range on this thing? Yeah, we need to heavily bombard that. I know exactly what we need. All right, don't shoot me tank, I'm on your side. You wanna know a bad idea when you see it, this is it. There's no way this works, right? Whoa! <laughs> Another tactical request. I don't know how the plane got here. Wing, wing, nudge, nudge, but it did. What? Uh, okay, we don't really have any troops in the area, so we're free to drop. Yeah! That got some of them. We're gonna fly around again. Alright, three bombs are away. And that did the Lord's work. So we're using boats, right? But an amphibious tank is just another boat. One of the weak points actually might be that port facility. It doesn't, it's definitely being defended, but I just don't know how heavily. But being able to just rush our tanks across this bridge seems like, wow, that's a scary explosion right where I'm headed. All right, we definitely want HE rounds. Oh gosh, please, please stop. Whoever's artillerying me. All right, smoke shells. Oh, there's the artillery gun right there. All right, I think I smoked at the right part. I see men running around, but only briefly. Oh, these guys are getting torn up. Oh, what's that? Some enemy troops, it looks like they were part of, uh... oh gosh. Luckily, none of these guys are armed with AT rifles. I'm wrecking these idiots. We need so many more troops than that. This would be like a great modding challenge to just make like a super landing tank that fits this era. Uh oh, the artillery gun's active again. Two of them. No, they are two. This is getting out of hand. All right, switch to HE because who knows what's gonna happen once we cross this berm. Ha ha! All right, I need troops to follow me and I think we're gonna be fine. Oh gosh. Look at this. Get them boys. Let's take this. Oh gosh. Oh, we got blown up by a machine gun truck. The opposite side of the train bridge seems like the best defended spot. This bridge on the other hand, I don't think it was nearly as well defended. So we're gonna make another push because it's shorter. It's a significantly shorter bridge than the train bridge. Like look at how big that is. And the enemy tanks are, and armored vehicles are rolling across it. There we go, that tank is burning. Oh yeah. Oh wait a minute, this bridge might be just as long. It's just like partition. I thought we were over it already. Is this thing still alive? I just saw a machine gun firing. That tank is huge. I had no idea the tank we were fighting was that big. I should be getting medals, man. Oh yeah. Switching to HE rounds while we wait for the machine gun to reload. Oh, we got a little amphibious tank. Come on, boys, we have to take this. All we need is one of these to be taken and we can claim victory. Because then we're on the right side of the bridge, the river. Oh my gosh, this is like Eastern Front World War II, man. 
There's just too many of them. I'm a 116 kills. Someone else on my team is at 102. I don't know what they were doing. Behind that transport ship should be the facility we want to take. It's just a matter of how well defended is it. Oh, artillery going off. Ooh, my motor fell off. All right, I'm in a warehouse in the docks. Wait a minute, I'm in the capture area. There's a tank. I don't even know if I'm hitting it. This might be a bridge too far. I have one other idea. This is why I wish Ravenfield was multiplayer so I could coordinate an epic assault with you guys. I've been looking at different ways to like develop a game relatively easily for amateur developers like myself to make a highly multiplayer and like sort of competitive shooter game. Um, I think I have an answer, but I'm gonna need help testing it. I'm gonna make a YouTube community post. So look for an announcement there sometime in the next, I'd say, week or two. But since this is single player, I'm having to fly this plane behind enemy lines to try to take the enemy airfield, which I can see it now. I'm just not gonna worry about these planes. Actually, I can't help it. This guy's just like lining up to get shot. Wait a minute, does that mean he's gonna respawn at the airfield? Probably. All right, so here's the airfield. There's no facilities to even speak of. Now, all we gotta do is find the capture point. So this is what the enemy plane looks like, the enemy fighter. Oh, that was terrifying. But I don't think I can take that point, unfortunately. I just changed up the battle plan, so this point is attacking too, and they have a lot of tanks. Yeah, enemy armor's moving in, in force. So I'll get in one as well and, and see if I can't soften them up a bit. There are so many tanks coming. One, two, three, four, five, geez, six. If they all come around the same time, we have a chance. If not, we're gonna have to pull back and go back to the drawing board. I feel like there's gonna be an enemy tank. Oh, there's a lot of like bombs going off and wrecking the enemy. And I've got this machine gun pretty well down. Oh, enemy tank just shot at me from over there. Oh, he's a stronger one than me. He looks like, almost like a Churchill. I hit him twice. Oh, friendly tanks are here. Look at this. The armored column has arrived. Oh gosh, one of the tanks already blew up. I think maybe even two. Oh, Molotovs. Jeez. Oh my gosh, this is, this is what tactics look like on this front. I'm, I'm getting torn up by something. I'm dead. My tank is dead. Oh, artillery. I'm afraid that this is the last push. There's a few tanks ahead of me. It's just, it's such a big choke point. It's relatively easy for the enemy to defend and resupply. That's the biggest issue is their ability to resupply. We have tanks at the end of the bridge. I don't know how many are gonna be left once I get across though. Oh, there goes the bombing run. Maybe that's the other guy with 100 kills. These barrels look like an enemy tank from a distance, don't you think? Like the hull in the turret? We've got what looks like two tanks. I can't tell if this one's active or not. Come on, we gotta do this. I'm here. Oh my gosh, this is where the resupply is. If this tank had like eight machine guns facing all different ways like a porcupine, and my AI was competent, I think we could take this. Oh, the flame! Wow, they just roasted my tank. I was at the flag point, but I think this is a bridge too far. We're just throwing way too many numbers at it. So thank you for watching another episode of Ravenfield. Pull the trigger on the like button if you did enjoy the video and keep posting for that announcement for some playtesting opportunities. Thanks for watching.